Hey, what's up, guys? Long time no see. Uh, I've been on my channel recently. I've been sifting through some footage I've still got from Japan, trying to get that finished up and make some more videos for you guys. Um, it's been hard because I've got school and work, but um, I've been sifting through that and making videos and stuff, and I've noticed on my channel that I've actually got over 200 subscribers. Uh, so I wanted to make this video as a thank you. Uh, when I started this channel, I didn't think I'd get like 10 subscribers, let alone 200. So um, I know people on YouTube usually do like a video for 100 subscribers, something like that. But uh, I was in Japan and I was a little busy and forgot about it. So I'm going to do 200 subscribers to make it up to you guys. Um, and then I'll have some more videos coming in the future. But yeah, what I wanted to do for this video is I wanted to tell you a story about a time that I got molested in Japan. Uh, yes, it does happen uh, sometimes, and it happened to me. It actually happened to me twice. Um, the first time was within a month of me getting in Japan, and that was a pretty interesting experience, but I think I'll leave that story for another video. It's, it's a little... It's, it's just an interesting... It's more interesting than this one. I'll give, you, I'll give you the little one first, and then maybe later in the future we'll do the, the real the hard duty molestation. So this was the second time that I got molested in Japan. Um, and this was right around spring. Um, it was at the, the Takeda Shingen Spring Festival. Um, so it was this amazing experience. It's like a three day festival. It was awesome. I was there with my friends. We were having fun. It was the final day. They had, um, you can actually see all this on my channel. They had a massive stage and a show and a play and just dedicated to the warlord Takeda Shingen in Yamanashi where I was staying. And so it was this amazing experience. You know, three-day festival is awesome. And so as we're leaving, uh, we're all, we walk out of the front side of the castle. And as we're leaving, you know, it's all the foreign students, all the international students, and then um, our Japanese tutors were with us as well. And we see this old lady, and this old lady is just like, oh my gosh, where where are you all from? You know, she freaks out, because, you know, anytime you see a foreigner in Japan, they get stares. But if you see a group of foreigners that are literally from all different countries around the world, and it's obvious that they're from different countries around the world, um, then it's a lot more head turning and people tend to react a little bit more dramatically. And so she freaks out. She sees us and she's like, Oh my God. And she's like, are you all international students? And you know, starts talking to us and she talks to us for like 20, 30 minutes. Um, and she's asking us where we're all from and stuff like that. And every time we say what country we're from, you know, I'm from America. She's like, Oh, I've been there. I went there. I took pictures because she was a photographer. And then it's like, the guy was like, oh, I'm from Ghana. She's like, oh, I've been to Ghana too. Oh, I'm from France. I've been to France. She's been to every country in the world, apparently. Yeah, taking pictures of everything. I mean, this lady was ancient. She was pretty old. Finally, we were all trying to leave. We're like, yeah, yeah, thank you. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. And so we're all saying goodbye, and I'm like in the back. And so as, um, as we're leaving, she goes to shake my hand. I was like, okay, I'll shake her hand. I was like, thank you very much. Have a good night. And so as we shake hands, like the second our hands touch to shake, she freaks out. And she's like, oh, my God, your hands are so warm. And I'm kind of taken aback by this. I'm just like, uh, thank you. I've never had that compliment before. She wouldn't let it go. She was just like, oh, my God, your hand is so warm. That's crazy. And she starts rubbing my hand. And this is weird. And so I was like, oh, okay, thank you. And I try and pull back. She says, are you all going this way? And points the direction that obviously we're all leaving. And I'm like, crap. And I, my friend says, yeah, we're going this way. She's like, oh, I'll go with you. And so she like, holds on to my hand and remained holding on to my hand the whole time and put her like arm in mine. And I was like, this is weird, but like, I'm from Kentucky. I'm from, you know, a kind of a Southern state. We're kind of in the middle, but still from, you know, treating older women politely is a very big courtesy. And you have to be friendly and not be rude. You know, of course, I could have just been like, you know, get the fuck off me. I didn't do that because I'm too much of a nice person, even when I probably shouldn't be. Anyways, uh, we're walking. And as we're walking, my friend, who is my tutor, the dorm tutor, his name's Yuya, um, he laughs 
at the situation. He thinks it's hilarious. So he pulls out his phone and just goes, and just takes a photo. And he says, she looks like your girlfriend. She freaks out when he says that. And she looks at me and she goes, really? Do you, I, am I too old to be your girlfriend? And she's like, you know, I'm probably too old, right? And she's saying this in Japanese. Um, she tried to speak some English, but she couldn't really do it. She was really old. She was probably like 80 something. And she's like, yeah, I'm really, really old. And she's like, I'm too old to be your girlfriend. You, you don't like older women, do you? And she freaked out. She asked me that same question like 50 times. At this point, I'm freaked out. And this is awkward. I don't like where this is going. And I can't tell if she's joking or not. Because, you know, some people joke like that and they think it's funny. Uh, it was not funny anymore. She still was holding onto my hand and like rubbing my hand. It was almost like she was like on the death's door and was like attracted to like the life energy in me. She's like, oh, I need your youthful blood to live or something. It was weird. It was it was freaking weird. This whole time, I'm just like, oh, ha, 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 ha. And I start pretending like I don't know Japanese. I'm like, Nihongo ga wakarimasen yo, ha, 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 ha. And so she follows us the whole time we're going back to my friend's car. And my friend, who, the genius that he is, I don't know if he, like, he was probably just doing it to just mess with me. But um, he said, oh, he's like, do you need a ride back to your house? And I'm like, stop, no. And she's just like, oh, you'd give me a ride? Of course I want a ride back to your house. And so that kind of pissed me off. I was looking for help from my other international friends, but they all scattered and left me alone. So it's just me, my Japanese friend, and this ancient Japanese woman. She's still holding on to my arm. She's like a vice grip on my hand. So we finally get to my friend's car. I'm trying to get in the front. I want to get away from this woman because it's weird. And the people that were riding with my friend, it was my Japanese friend, my French friend, um, the girl from France, Ava, and then my friend from Ghana, Ahmed, and then it was me and this crazy Japanese lady. I try and get in front, and I guess it was Ava just said, oh no, you should be in back with your girlfriend. It's probably the only time I've wanted to hit a woman. Anyways, I try and get on the far side, and my friend from Ghana, I don't blame him, he was like, no, you go over there. <laughs> like, he didn't want anything to do with this lady. He was done with her and the whole thing, so left me in the middle, and she sat on this side of me, on my left. And as we're sitting there in the car, she's still holding my hand, and she's still trying to figure out, like, who I date and stuff like that. And I'm trying to politely avoid the question and not tell this woman that she is a wrinkled, ancient being, human. I don't know if she was a human anymore because she was so old. But um, I'm trying to politely say, no, I don't want to date you. Um, she was just holding my arm, and then she worked her way up to inside of my coat. I was wearing a long coat, and the whole time we're driving, she works her way up into my arm, and she's like rubbing my arm the whole time, and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? It could be much worse. Don't get me wrong. Um, the second time, or the first time I got molested, it was much worse. But uh, we'll leave that for another time. And it was by women, by the way. It was not by a dude. Um, it was by cute Japanese girls. But uh, I'll leave that for another time. Anyways, you always hear about these stories of people getting molested, and uh, you think, oh, if I was in that situation, you know, I would, I would punch whoever's, you know, molesting me, or I would freak out. Um, being in a diff different culture, not understanding if it was a joke, and it being an old woman, I was limited in being able to punch her in the face. Um, I didn't want to do that for obvious reasons. Um, because she probably would have died if I did. But yeah, we're in the car, and I'm trying to tell her, like, oh, you, my girlfriend lives in Tokyo, ha ha ha, I, I, you know, I'm not available, blah blah blah. After she realizes, oh, like, I'm not gonna date him, she's still rubbing my arm the whole time. And the whole time she's trying to speak, she's so old, her teeth are, have fallen out, and she has dentures. And so, every time she tries to say anything, her dentures fall out of her mouth and she has to fix them. And every time she fixes them, it goes, and I, it's, I'm about to throw up at this point because she's rubbing my arm and she's going, oh, oh, I'm too old for you, right? And fixing her teeth. And it makes me want to throw up. Um, but anyways, she realizes that 
I'm not interested in dating her, of course, and starts inviting us to her house. And she starts pointing at herself because I guess she's given up trying to communicate with me in Japanese. And she starts going, Masako, house. And then she starts trying to bribe me with food because I guess she thinks I'm a fat American and I food will make me go wherever, even if it leads to me potentially being molested and or raped. And so she starts going, Masako, house, pizza, pasta. And she starts asking my friend, she's like, what, what is, how do you say pear in English? And my friend says pear. And immediately when he says that, she goes, pear, masako house, kohi tea, trying to bribe me with food. And she thinks it's going to work. And I'm just like, oh, no, I've already eaten, you know. My friend Yuya is, thinks this is hilarious. And he's talking to her, you know, telling her about him and his father. And he works for the same company that her husband did, apparently. And he's talking about his father. And she freaks. She goes, daughter. And, like, asking who her father was, his father was. And her teeth fall out. And she fixes them. And she's the whole time rubbing. It's a weird, awkward situation. And I don't like it. We get to her house. And she gets out. And I'm like, thank God it's over. Well, Yuya rolls down his window and just sits there and starts talking with her for 20 minutes again. And by this time, I've had it. I We've been talking with this woman for like an hour, including like, you know, going around and walking with her the whole time she's been molesting me. I'm tired of her. I don't want to see her anymore. Um, so I'm telling Yuya, come on, go. And even my friend from Ghana, Ahmed, he was just like, just go, man. Just leave. Just go. And he was getting visibly frustrated. Ava was just laughing. She thought it was hilarious. And Yuya probably thought it was too. Um, finally, she gets behind the car and she realizes something and stops. She's like, oh, she was going to come around and talk to him again. And I was like, just run her over. Just go. Just kill her. No one will know and we'll leave. She comes back and she tries to invite us in her house more, um, I guess, with more pizza and pasta and stuff like that. Um, but of course, we said no and left. And so I thought the ordeal was over. Um, you know, I was like, thank God, you know, don't have to see her ever again. But it was not. About a week later, um, me and I believe it was Ava were walking on campus, uh, going to class. And we stopped to talk to someone. I guess it was just one of our mutual friends. We stopped to talk to them. And as we are talking, I look over, and there's a taxi, and the taxi drives off, because it's dropping someone off at the school, the taxi drives off, and literally like in a movie, like when the taxi drives off, and you see like the main villain standing there, it was her, she had tracked down, like where we were going to school, somehow, maybe we told her, I can't remember, but she went to our school, and was going to find us, and just happened to be dropped off right in front of us, and saw us, and my heart started beating because I was terrified because this woman had molested me. She freaks out. She's like, oh, I found you and runs over to us. And she gives us a photo that she took of us, which was nice of her, I guess. But considering that she had molested me, I was not in the mood to talk to her anymore. And I wanted to leave immediately. Right as she comes up and starts talking to us, Yuya comes up and starts talking and is shocked to see her as well. So he and her talk for 20 or 30 more minutes. It was really weird. He really enjoyed talking to her. Maybe he wanted to be molested. I have no idea. She was just like, oh, yeah, please come to my house. You know, I'll show you a good time and blah, 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 blah. And I was, no, I was out. So I ran away from her, probably crying. I can't remember. I've blocked it out of my head. Yeah, that was one time I got molested in Japan. And technically it's not that bad because she just rubbed my arm, you know. But I was, she, like, she had her arm, I was wearing a coat, like a long coat. She had her arm up my coat sleeve and was like rubbing my shoulder really inappropriately. And so, you know, if I were to go up to a Japanese woman and she was wearing a coat and I stuck my hand up her coat sleeve and started rubbing her shoulder, it would be inappropriate on... 20 or so levels, so I'm going to count that as being molested. It was not welcome touching of my body. Um, so yeah, I'm going to count it. Maybe I probably shouldn't, but it makes for an interesting story. I think you might have thought it was boring. You might have already not. 
You might have already stopped watching the video, and that's perfectly fine. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that um, as a thank you for 200 subscribers. I hope you keep watching. Uh, hopefully, my videos remain interesting. If they, Hopefully, they've been interesting. And if they have, then hopefully they remain interesting. If they haven't, I'm going to try and make them a little bit more interesting. But, um, but yeah, that was the f second time I was molested. And I'll save the first time, which is a lot cooler of a story. Um, it's not as long, but uh, it's a lot cooler for another day. All right? So I'll catch you all later.